Alright, the Passion of Dr. Wankel, race number one. We're taking an old RX7 from 1990, not even one of the... Oops. Really good, famous uh, ones that are all... Timeless looking. Uh, you know, let's just keep it different and challenging, because the thing is... I almost wish they'd made ten different RX-7s, because it's like... It's like a model of car that fits an entire category on its own. You know, it's like you see one RX-7 and then you see ten other people with RX-7s, and they all look the same, pretty much. And that's just so unfortunate, because it's such a special car. Not even the one I'm driving, the one, the newer one. And the thing is, it's, uh... I don't know, it's just like the Mustang, where they came out with so, so many. And then you have this one beautiful, iconic car from Mazda, and... You just don't have as much going on that holds a candle to this, especially for the unique engine that it has and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of like the Toyota Supra, except, you know, Toyota has other vehicles that, uh or iconic in one way or another, like the 350Z, or anything, oh, anything in the Z series, but... So let's hope the older RX-7 can hold a candle to the newer RX-7. And it seems to be doing well. At least in this race. Oh, no, 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 no. I saw them all sling right down, I knew, I knew. I knew I should have been more careful. Careful. Ooh. Careful. See, people really love the older RX-7s from this era and from the 80s because I remember there was one on Jay Leno's garage. It was a 1983 RX-7 and he described it as just an absolute death trap because the guy had it set up just absolutely slammed to the ground as a drift car and he just drives it around the canyons and it just <laughs> it just drifts. It just drifts around everything. It just slides around it. Oh! It just gives up grip at any possible opportunity. <laughs> oh! Oh, that sucks. But that's what people do to any RX-7 when they want to turn it into a drift car. You know? So that, to me, is why these older ones are... Quite underrated. Oh, <clears throat> darn! Quite underrated and underrepresented compared to the new, newer ones. Okay, smooth and steady. Make sure I don't keep crashing, 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 and slow it down. That's a bit too much. Oh well. seems really happy just being a 200 horsepower car and every corner it takes it knows that that's the power it needs to have and that's what it wants and look at that it just feels so nice to just swing around corners in this thing 
No oversteer, no understeer. It doesn't punch above its weight, it doesn't punch below its weight, it just does exactly what you hope and want it to do. Oh no 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 no! Mm. Oh, that's not good, I'm not... just... Can I pass this guy? No, probably not. Oh, I'll have to do that one again, okay.